one of the themes in the work that you showed us today was the theme of this Tibetan spirit uh, embodied or personified as a type of character like a person. And you explained, if I understand and can paraphrase correctly, that this has something to do with uh, the kind of traditional spiritual value system of Tibetan people, and then also their kind of the Tibetan collective cultural heritage and kind of consciousness collectively embodied as this person. And we saw several images of this spirit going through a type of progression. And the way it looked to me was that the first ones were kind of a little more in a uh, wild or unmanifest or disorganized state. And I thought maybe that is under the influence of the challenges of the Himalayan diaspora and not quite finding a place yet. But then we saw this character turn into something more like a superhero, standing up, very embodied, very empowered. Uh, and I really appreciate that so much. So my question is, if this uh, Tibetan spirit and cultural legacy spirit is uh, growing and becoming uh, stable in this uh, kind of superhero uh, path. What can you give us a hint of what is the next stage for for our hero here? What's the next issue of this comic book? Can you give us some hint? Yeah. So the whole idea. I think uh, my work is uh, very very. Uh, I would like to categorize it as responsive. So whatever I'm interacting, experiencing in my day-to-day -day life somehow seeps into my work. And uh, I guess uh, in the beginning, when I first arrived here in the States, I noticed like every, everybody had just arrived. They were all trying to make things happen. We were so unaware of so many things. Uh, and also I think, uh, uh, there were like lots of challenges, I guess, trying to assimilate oneself, etc. And uh, over time, what I'm beginning to see is like uh, now people are much more, uh, I guess, a little more confident in the sense like uh, the education through education through lots of different like. Uh, also the identity, like uh, many of the Himalayan diaspora now are able to like be proud of their own uh, you know, heritage, their culture. And then I see families trying to educate their children who are born abroad or in different places, uh, trying to instill these values and these like uh, cultural values, all kinds of values into them. And uh, I think we are at a point where we can imagine like, uh, you know, uh, being at least uh, together with the rest of the world, walking towards, I don't know, development, whatever. So, uh, and the same thing I found uh, after I went back to Nepal, I was, because uh, I, I remember when I was growing up, like uh, Himalayan people were considered a little bit regional, isolated back then. And then, like I was saying earlier, in a school where I went to study uh, in Nepal, there were like maybe five people that looked like me. So now it's different. Like uh, now there's, there's kind of a collective thing happening. And then I see younger generations like also moving forward uh, with all the education that they uh, need they're very, very confident. They can, I can talk to a Himalayan person in Nepal who could be, I don't know, like, uh, you know, as, as uh, articulate and as sophisticated as anyone from any part of the world. So that was a different thing that I was noticing. So it feels like maybe, and at the same time, also having these value system, like, uh, you know, the Buddhist values, I would say, probably, like, you know, having a little bit of compassion, understanding the idea of interdependence reality, understanding, like, you know, uh, 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 equanimity, uh, you know, so 
few of these things like uh, i think uh, the whole uh, dynamic is changing it's going towards something better it feels like so and that was the expression that comes through in my work so uh to your question like what's the next step we'll just have to wait and see 